What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. I'm doing love messages for all the signs. I'm on a sign of Leo. If you would like a personal reading um, done, email me at acassiahempel795 at gmail.com. You'd like to donate as well. Um, all of the readings that I do are listed in the about section of my channel. Anyways, Leo, let's see what we got going on here. Three cards for how someone thinks about you. Three cards for how someone feels about you. And three cards of advice. Bottom is the moon card. Ooh. With the temperance card. Six of wands. Three of cups. Five of swords. King of swords. So for how someone thinks of you, you have the magician. I mean, maybe you could be manipulative, but I feel like this is more about you can pretty much manifest whatever it is that you want in this. Someone might be manifesting something with you that might have some manipulation things going on because then you have the seven of pentacles with the king of pentacles something with how they think of you i feel like someone's waiting someone's been waiting for you someone's manifested you someone's waiting for you to um maybe get your finances together maybe be stable or maybe realize that you do have this person in your life that you know is pretty solid that maybe you they're waiting for you but they might be manipulating it a little bit and I kind of feel like it's past energy because how someone feels you have the Empress the Queen of Swords with the star card now some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius who is healing Someone who is not talking about their emotions. Someone who sees you as this person who, you know, gets things done. This could be a good situation. You guys could grow together, but you're not taking any action or they're not taking any action towards you because they need to heal from something. And maybe this is about them recognizing the potential in you, but you're not either not talking about the things that you haven't healed from or you will be healing or maybe this is about someone who wants to, to help you. Um, there might be a child involved for some of you. I feel like there's so many things that you don't realize that are happening. One is that you are truly healing and balancing yourself out. Or maybe there's a Sagittarius in your life that um, thinks that you're lying to, to them. Or... There's something with... A friend situation maybe someone who was in your life or still is that you need to have this conversation about you know um, a job some of you guys are fighting your feelings for an air sign even though there's a lot of passion or there's an air sign who's fighting themselves about their feelings for you and um, because it's like somebody's emotions are more put in their work right now and they're not even paying attention to their emotions like they don't know what they feel but they're not really trying to explore them right now because there's too much going on 
Some of you guys are definitely dealing with an Aquarius. Um, your advice is that there is a soulmate connection here. I think it's more of a friend. It's someone who could kind of, um, you're not paying attention to them. You guys might be taking a break. Um, there again, I feel like it's an air sign for some of you, but I feel like you're taking a break from this twin or this soulmate because you're really confused about your emotions or they're really confused. It could be a, a water sign too. Someone's really confused about this connection and it's like someone just kind of pulled back because there's a lot of, there's a lot of healing that needs to happen here. There might even be, um, someone that you might need to talk to professionally about your feelings about some things where you don't really want to get the help, but you know that you need to because there's a lot of emotions that you have that are pretty fucking intense. And you kind of, I see someone might be dealing with depression. Someone um, is also definitely a soulmate. This is a connection here, but it's like you're fighting your own emotions. You're not talking about your emotions. And I feel like this other person is doing the same thing. You guys are mirroring each other. So I feel like that's important to know that you and this other person are mirroring each other. But you also do have someone from your past that's like trying to cling to you and manipulate it because of the time that you guys have put in. Like they're still kind of waiting there for you. But I think that they're not coming in necessarily because they know that you're kind of, there's another situation here for you now. I do see money coming in as well, but you do need to kind of speak up about your feelings and you might need to fight, like defend yourself and like let people know the business when it comes to this because um, I see you guys pulling yourselves back. You're you're needing this time to kind of pull your emotions away because there's a lot of things that you just don't know what to do about. And I think that it's really hard for you to um, let these feelings out, especially when it comes to, um, you know, knowing who truly supports you, um, who... <sighs> It's like you guys lost your confidence in yourselves because of the things that you're not really dealing with. And um, you do need to kind of be honest with yourself. You do need to have more confidence in yourself because I feel like there could be an opportunity in your job. There could be an opportunity for you to truly get over some things from the past. Because I don't think that this earth sign is someone that you should be involved with. Because I feel like there was a situation where you were the chick on the outside. But now they realize that this is a deeper kind of a twin flame thing. But you guys are kind of like separately but at the same time needing to heal and talk about things. Maybe with no one else but your circle of support. Because I feel like there's victory in making that choice for yourself. There's victory in realizing that it's okay to kind of let these things out because you really do need to balance yourself and find this harmony within yourselves because it's like um, someone's kind of giving too much of themselves and um, there's a lot of past issues with a soulmate that you guys are still, it's still here and there's, I think that there's going to be some clarity here. There might be someone coming back in. But I don't think that it's someone that you should necessarily go for because I think that, yes, this could be a twin flame, but this is something you need to kind of pull back from and figure out how you truly feel about them and realize that there's a lot of healing that needs to happen here because you don't want to bring the same toxic shit back into your life. And I feel like you're trying to get on from that. Not only that, but you don't even realize the people that support you you don't realize that you could do things on your own and kind of get this job and be your own boss and that it could be really well because you're not taking any movement on it and you're you're dealing with this depression like you're not even really telling anyone you know it's like there's been a lot of time that's went by where you spent by yourself it could be the last four years for some of you where you've just kind of been waiting for this to be over but you're, there's still a lot of ties that you have to someone in your life. And it could be a twin flame, but it's also confusing you and leaving this illusion around you um, and kind of blocking another connection or blocking the current connection because you lost your um, you lost your drive, you lost your confidence. There is someone who's kind of influential in your life and it could be like this motherly figure for you 
that could maybe help you out financially as well. But you're going to have to make a decision and it has something to do with how you truly feel. And like, there's some pretty deep feelings here for some of you. And you're going to be learning the truth about this earth sign for some of you. That they're lying. That it's like they had you under the illusion that you could be really happy. But it's like you're not seeing that it's, it threw you off your course completely. And like made you lose your confidence in yourself. To kind of like throw you off of your true potential of who you could truly be. You had some pretty toxic energy around you. I don't see that being like you're kind of breaking free from that but it's like there is a lot of um changes i think that need to happen but i think that there's also like a really happy ending once you get this enlightenment about your life and about your purpose you know some of you guys don't even really feel like you like you deserve love you're like fuck love you know I think that there's going to be good fortune, but you need to have the strength to take control and love yourself again and have this confidence because some of you guys have some health issues as well and um, you're not really paying attention to that. There was a lot of codependency. There was someone you dealt with that was really immature that might be coming back and you got to be careful about what you bring back into your life, especially if there's things that you haven't healed from. You guys have a soulmate that you've been calling into your life or you did in the past. There's a lot of red flags. There's a lot of control issues. And I don't think that this is something that you should work on. They're going to say they want to work on this relationship. I wouldn't do it. They got to learn to do things a different way because they got some serious issues. And um, you got to let it happen when the universe has its time because there's a lot of disorganizations. There's a bit loss of balance. There's... Um, you know, recovery that's needed to these strings with these people and just understand that if it's supposed to be here, it's worth waiting for. Divine timing is that work in your love life. So don't try to control or, you know, work on things yourself or with other people when you know that it's kind of something that isn't good for you. Then you have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Um, you deserve love. You're lovable. Remembering, you know, telling yourself that every day will kind of change things. Because some of you guys are dealing with a soulmate um, that you need to make the effort to, but you're really not just like, you have to decide what you want and remember that there's got to be some healing on your part or their part, especially before this moves to another level. And remember to love yourself first because... Um, you got to make the effort to get out of your own way, especially when it comes to things. And you do kind of need to get to know people and decide what you want in your life and kind of manifest that in. Um, some of you have children that you need to be careful about who you trust. And, you know, remember that loving yourself first, taking this time out for yourself to learn to love yourself is going to prevent kind of negative shit from being brought back in, especially these chaotic people that are in and out and kind of causing you this um, exhaustion, you know, um, something you can't really walk away from, but their energy is completely focused on themselves, and it's, it's fucking up yours, so until they deal with their shit, you know, um, it's causing you to be really immature and doubt yourself when you should, and you're taking on their energy, and um, they're really toxic and you need to try to release any kind of ties that you have to them because it's like you're definitely under an illusion for some of you and it's like calling your angels and ask for clarity because I feel like once you let this go then things are going to move forward really in a good decision for you but understand that there's someone in your life who's wearing a mask and it's causing a lot of negative energy um, and you're kind of internalizing that grief when you do have people that do support you, someone who in your community maybe you could talk to. Um, there's a there's a lot of depression here. Um, some of you guys need to either move on or move, period, because it's like there's a lot of mental shit that's being caused by this emptiness, and it's a lot to do with depression and, like, feelings over and overall, um, you know. Um, but don't give up because um, of other people's energy that was, like, pushed onto you. 
Um, because you, once you're totally honest with yourself, you rule yourself, you rule your soul, and then you'll be percep perceptive enough to pick up on the negative energy and to not let it back in again. You don't have to fight with people, but it's still okay to walk away from them, you know, because they're the ones that are resisting the change that they need to do in themselves. So by bringing them back in, when they come back in to apologize, it's the same fucked up ass energy. So be careful of that. That's all I have. Good night.